Welcome everyone to today's entertainment brought to you by some of the hosts of Time Out Entertainment. We're on a new program that we're calling Smarticus. Now, how did we think of that name? Well, we went, what's a really, really bad pun we can do? And we thought we'd start off with, I am Smarticus. So here we are today with five of your uh, best hosts out there. You've got me, Daz. Also in the room with me today is, uh, I sometimes know how to pronounce words, Josh. We have, <laughs> we have the new kid in town, Justin. We have the person who is going to hate me after I say the next thing about him. He's really keen to play Keenan. And of course, the man, Dan. Welcome, guys. Hey. Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> Great to have hey you guys. here. We're here to play a new trivia game based for hosts so that you can laugh at how bad our knowledge actually is. We're all going to have one round of where we ask all the other hosts another question. Now, if that host gets the question right, they score a point. Awesome. If the who, <laughs> I like that rule. That's a, that's a good rule. If the person who asks a question, any of the other people get it right, they also score a point, except if everybody gets it right, in which case the question was way too easy and they weren't really smart because in asking that question anyway. So we're going to give that a bit of a go. Um, so let's get started. And hopefully, and hopefully we're not all dancing to nothing, but that's <laughs> fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is ask the first question. Uh, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm Daz. I'm here in Canberra. Yes, the place where the politicians go. We know we've heard it before. Yes, there's roundabouts here. We know we go around them all the time, but that's fine. Uh, I've got two venues here at the moment, the Hellenic Club down at Water, which has just recently opened. Welcome, guys, if you're watching, and also go Garland Lakes. So uh, it'd be great if you can come to either of those venues or indeed see us uh, when we're on our online venue. Now, here is my question for everyone and they have 20 seconds to answer. I'm going to give you three different phrases and you have to tell me what is the one word that links them all. So the first one is bulls. The second one is all that jazz. And the third one is Peter Cetera. Bulls, all that jazz, Peter Cetera. What links them all? And go. Well, I wonder if they can give an answer. Or did I make it too hard? What? Too hard. <laughs> I think it's I made awesome. it too hard. There is okay. How are we going for time? I think that's the time of done. That is time of done. Oh my god, we're well over time. We're well over time. <laughs> that's terrible. That was terrible. Okay, I am going to mention another rule, uh, which I've just thought of then, and I think it's so good that we should definitely have it. If you don't know the answer, but you come up with another answer that is so ridiculous it makes the rest of us laugh, you get a point anyway. Uh. That, that I think sounds fair. Alrighty. All right. So let's start with Dan. What's your answer? I had no idea what you were talking about, so when in doubt, I'm just going to add a sports reference in. Uh, right. And you mentioned Bulls, so I'm going uh, Chicago. <gasps> wow, that's an interesting answer. Okay, Keenan, what about you? Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands, perfect. Oh, All right. I, I didn't know it was Bulls. I thought you said something else, but... Oh, okay. Uh... No, it was Bulls. <laughs> Jazz hands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm going with Daniels and no idea. And uh, there's my drawing. It's oh, nice. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think you should keep that one handy because you might be using it a lot. Oh, and well, finally, <laughs> give you that idea. <laughs> and finally, Josh, what did you think it was? Well, I mean, like, I don't know, really. I right. had some sort of idea of what you were saying, but didn't know how to yeah. connect it. So I just kind right. of said, uh, I don't know, something red-related? Because he said bulls, <laughs> so like, um... Something red-related. Well, you know, one, of you, one of you indeed does have the correct answer, and that is Ben. Well done. Oh, yes. So, Chicago <laughs> Bulls, and then all that jazz is from the musical Chicago. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Ah, and right. Peter Cetera was the head singer of the band called Chicago. 
Oh, so. Nice, nice. Yeah, I, I, Thank I, you. I was so impressed with myself when I thought of that question. So. Yeah, that's a good question. question. Yeah. I like it when I get it right without start. still not knowing it. That yeah. is Smarticus. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's very Smarticus. So at the moment, the score is uh, myself on one point and Dan also on one point and the rest of everybody else have uh, yet to meet uh across actually i think i'm on minus one because i'm on the timer and that was 30 seconds <laughs> that's all good all i right. was busy well. drawing my deer <laughs> okay dan uh let's throw to you my name yes. is dan i host uh dan in melbourne when i can at a couple of different venues the eltham hotel and uh, hq tavern uh, we're doing stuff here in lockdown but we are planning to reopen for trivia i think in 2023 at the earliest so stay with us uh, my question today <laughs> is all about humans and what uh, we, we all do in an average day. Question is, the average person does what 13 times a day? What does the average person do 13 times a day? Write it down. 13 times a day. Unlucky for some, what do you do 13 times a day? Give me 15 more seconds. Yes, we've got uh, five seconds on the clock now. Oh, da, da, come down da. quick. And uh, we've all got some answers. All righty, Josh is nodding. Let's start with Josh. First answer, what does the average person do 13 times a day? What do you think? Uh, well, I, I, had a, <clears throat> I had a little think about it, but I, I decided to maybe uh, drinking water. Drinking water? You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, good guess. Justin, what do you think? I'm with Josh on this one, but I went a bit vaguer and consumed something. Consume something? So it may not necessarily water, because not everyone's drinking all their water, but... True, true. Uh, Did say on average, though. On average, yeah. Some people, yeah. Uh, Daz, what do you reckon? Well, I was thinking a bit more broadly, and I was trying to take into account you've got some elderly people, and then you've got some younger people. So if you were averaging it all out, Looks at their phone. Oh, looks at their phone. Very good. Yeah. And uh, Keenan. Oh, I'm way out, but I'm thinking about myself, and um, I think I'm uh, 13 times a day on average. I think I'm well above average in this one. Um, act out. Uh, <laughs> 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 out actual numbers. Yeah. Action from a divine or so that gets a point, right? That answer that, gets a, a point. point right there. I think I, I think it gets a point. Yeah, yeah well, all right. The so, the answer, uh, none of you got it right. Um, oh, Keenan, cool. Keenan was the closest actually, um, because the average. Well, in terms of helping us, the average person laughs thirteen times a day. Oh, wow! Yeah. Keenan Is made us laugh. Was... Gets the point. Yeah, well done. Do man. I get a point for that? Because no, no, because <laughs> no, no one got it right. <laughs> Well, something else like question, though, as well, so yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, on that note, how about uh, you lead us with the next question, Keenan? Right, okay, so let me just find my notes here. Um, on my notepad. It's longer than Avengers Endgame. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> and that's going back time. in time and doing it again as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's our question now. It is, um, well, so first of all, my name's Keenan, if you haven't noticed already. Um, host uh, up here in uh, in sunny Brisbane, uh, also the Epson Sheridan. Um, now at the Pig and Whistle and uh, other places, I'm single, no children that I know of, and um, been single for four years, and I'm starting to think that it's going well, and I'm starting to think that I'm the one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, which piece of bathroom fixture uh, takes its name from the French word for pony? So which piece of bathroom fixture takes its name from the French word for pony? Hmm. Box starts now, we've got 20 seconds. <clears throat> Three seconds on the clock. Because we don't want this uh, clip to be taken off. 
<laughs> there we go. That's 20 <laughs> seconds. That is time. All right. Let me time. see what you got. Let's start off with, uh, with Dan. You're the last question master on that one. Dan, what do we have? Uh, a basin? Does that sound French? A basin? Basin? Basson. I think I, I think I had a, I think I had basson with sauce the other day. Yeah, it's, it's French for a big cow. Okay. Uh, you didn't put luck in front of it. So, uh, la basin. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna quickly add that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Next, uh, let's go to Justin. So I went for la vanity. Ah, <laughs> la vanity. Okay. All right. Josh. Right. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I would have no idea, um, because, you know, Did I you want to borrow my card? that doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at answering questions. Um, Do you, want me to, you can borrow mine, man, I can hold that I, up. I, I didn't have time question. to put uh, <laughs> la at the front, uh, so I just said the sink. sink, but you know, it would be la sink. Um, la sink. La sink. Uh, I, I think that's a good answer. Uh, <laughs> but, um, well, I thought I'd take a bid at my answer and go, Bidet. Oh, that's French. Bidet. That sounds very French, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, good. Oh, it's French for yum. Oh, no, it's your place. Uh, <laughs> well, i got to say, one person got it right, and that was you, Daz. Well yeah. done. This, uh, oh, good good. Good. Okay. I thought so that was something used in a French on the first equal first place at the moment. Both with two Ooh. points. Ooh. Dead with one point. And uh, also ran. We've got <laughs> Justin and Judge. <laughs> Next up though is Justin. The chance for him to make three points. Alright, here we go. The question is we're going to the food industry. I think you're all very familiar with Vegemite. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, who are you by the way? Oh, oh, yes, of course. My name's Justin, so I'm, uh, I was hosting on a Monday night at the Wallara in uh, Central Coast, New South Wales. I started there about a year ago um, and still not open for business or for trivia business, unfortunately. So, but just one a, night, just one a week, Monday nights. Awesome. So my question is, we're all familiar with the uh, jar of Vegemite, but how familiar are we? What color is the word Vegemite on a jar of Vegemite? What color is that word Vegemite? Ooh. We've all seen it. Did anyone have Vegemite for breakfast this morning? <laughs> That's disgusting, no. no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. All right, so Daniel's not a fan. He's more of no. a peanut butter and jam sort of guy. Yeah. That sounds about right for me as well. I'm going for, I'm going for three correct answers here, boys. Don't let me down. Keenan. Vegemite, very popular in your parts. Yeah. With avocado. And three seconds. So, uh, I'm gonna go top left, Josh. Your answer for the, the word Vegemite on a jar of Ooh. Vegemite. What color is it? I'm trying to remember correctly because I don't particularly actually like Vegemite very much. Oh my God. Um, but Who are you? I'm what pretty you sure you? that the word is white. I also yeah. said red and yellow because I'm pretty sure the logo itself is also red and yellow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But we are actually the letters of the word Vegemite. Okay, Daniel? Uh, I'll be disappointed and equally if I get this right, given I hate it. Uh, yeah. But I went with red. Okay, okay. Red. And down the bottom, it's Keenan. Yeah, um, I also went, I'm not sure we can say this anymore, but is it white? We can't say <laughs> 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 One of those men Okay, and Dad? Um, I I don't know if you know this, but an interesting fact about the Vegemite tune is that you can sing it to our national anthem. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. We're happy little Vegemites, as bright as bright can be. We all enjoy He's got a voice. Vegemite for breakfast, lunch and tea. I've and oh, it's white. it's white. It's white. And I'll take those <laughs> points. Yeah. Thank you, Daniel, for not getting that right. Oh. It is indeed, it is white. The logo around the outside, Josh, you correct, it is red and yellow, but the actual word is white. And I did ask that at a trivia once. It's amazing how many people get that wrong. Do no, I get an extra all. point for getting red. red and yellow as well? No, but I get an extra point because i got three people that got it. That's right. <laughs> so ah. you are now equal first. That oh. haunted you into the... The uh, only way I'm going to get there, people, is with my oh. questions because my answers are going to be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that leaves... <laughs> Josh, me. So, yes. Ooh. So you are going to be the one who decides for us all who is going to be the winner. Ooh. So go ahead and take it away, Josh. 
Okay, well, obviously, at this point, you know my name is Josh. It's been said, I think, a few times uh, by this point. Um, I kind of just, you know, plopped into this thing. Um, you know, I kind of just dropped in one day, um, doing some, you know, tech work in the background for Daz, and then we decided, let's put him in front of the camera, and wow, that was a fun time. Uh, right now, I don't particularly have my own venue, but you'll probably see me around at, you know, Hellenic Club and Gungalan Lakes in Canberra uh, with Daz, uh, doing either doing some hosting or doing, you know, tech stuff in the background or whatnot. So, I'll bring up my notepad here, because I'm, I'm smart. I, ha I have my <laughs> questions here. And, uh, I love how I, you suddenly got, like, the, the lighting up. It's yeah! Like, it's, it's like you like, designed it. And I totally uh, go. didn't go onto Google and get some trivia questions, uh, like, two hours before this. Um, but anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're gonna, I have a question about uh, our trusty iPhones that I'm sure many, many of us have. Um, and my question to you is, what year was the first model of iPhone released? So you have 20 seconds. Yeah, here we go, I'll start the clock. Here we go, 20 let's seconds. go. Nice. I think I should, full disclosure, you know I work at Apple, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. Oh, come on, man. This is not fair. I think it comes down to how many people Four get seconds. it right though, Keenan. So if only Three you seconds. get it, that means I still get a point. <laughs> Time's up, folks. That's 20 seconds. All yeah. right. Well, I reckon we should uh, start at right in the middle. That's what have you got? Okay. So <clears throat> um, I think from the, my memory that it was 2007. Okay. That's okay. where... I'm, 2007. Alright, let's go with Keenan. Either Kanan, that or big... um, 2007 BC. I'm feeling Kanan, good now. Big Apple Boy over here says 2006. Oh, the way Josh said that was like Big Apple Boy actually got it wrong. I feel like that's the... that was the tone there, Josh. <laughs> Maybe on purpose. I don't know. Yeah, I feel yeah. like it was a oh, Big Apple Boy didn't get it wrong. What do you know? <laughs> Alright, uh, Justin, let's see what you've got to say. Yeah, I'm going with Big Apple Boy. I remember. <laughs> I feel like I remember that year. It was a big right. year. And uh, finally, Dan. I'm with I'm with Team Daz, uh, always in life. 2007, I right. reckon. I think I was in school, I reckon it was that year. All right, all right. So, here it is. Uh, Daz and Dan, you got it right. It was 2007. Yes. Big, big Apple worker over here. You got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, it was 2007. Can you, can you fact check that, mate? <laughs> um, I think it was June 2007 Steve. that the first model of iPhone came out, and um, then they skipped. Uh, they went from like one to three. <laughs> there was yeah, never an iPhone cool. two, I don't think. Yeah. Did employees get it a year early, Kenan? Is that why you got it in 2006? Well, no. Actually, fun fact. Um, and uh, shout out to Greg Eccleston for this fun fact. I'm going to give you one right now. Um, that uh, when Steve Jobs was on stage, the phone didn't actually work. He actually had six phones on stage. Um, every time he took a sip of water was the cue for the video guy to switch over to each different phone to show uh, the multitasking feature. That's so, funny. Um, but did he take 13 sips of water? That's the, that's, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, look, how did you all go at home? Did you manage to uh, get all of those questions right? Hope you did. Now, join I us don't. again. Make sure that you <laughs> like, share, and subscribe this particular video so that we can show you even more content. Don't forget to support your local venues. If you're not back at your local venue yet, ask them when, because we'd love to come out and see you. Until next time, I've been Daz. These have been uh, Dan, Keenan, Justin, and Josh. And we'll see you next time for Smarticus. Bye, guys.